My name is Leon Stroll de Haliatus. My home and my family were taken from me. I am the last of my house. I am the last of my noble bloodline. And in the name of my people, I will strike you down where you stand! Metaphor Re Fantasio is a brand new fantasy JRPG from the creators of Persona 3, 4, and 5. You'll travel across a unique world with your companions and take part in the Royal Tournament, seeking support for the throne while you try to lift the curse from the kingdom's lost prince. There's lots to do, building friendships, traveling the world, and awakening new powers. Here are the top five features of Metaphor Re Fantasio. Presented by Metaphor Re Fantasio. The fast and squad battle systems blends real-time action with turn-based combat. You'll be able to see enemies on the field and you can lock onto them, evade their attacks, and strike in real time. If you run into weak enemies you've already encountered, you can wipe them out this way and continue with exploration in a matter of seconds. Hence, the fast part of the name. You got this. For stronger enemies, you can still strike them on the field to stun them and gain an advantage, but you'll have to shift into squad mode to finish them off. That's where turn-based combat comes in. You can bring in four characters into battle, and each turn you can attack, use skills, have a character hand their turn to a fellow party member, swap between combat rows, or switch a new character into the party. Commands are mapped to specific buttons, so there's no navigating menus on top of menus. You can complete actions quickly, and combat stays engaging. The mission's more important than either of our lives. If we screw this up, there's no going back. To figure out which enemies can be wiped out quickly and which require turn-based combat, you'll need some help from your fairy friend, Galica. Leave it to me! Her fairy sight abilities allows you to get a read on your surroundings and assess the danger level of enemies. They all seem pretty weak. You got this. But she's just the first of many friends you'll make along the way. There's Stroll, a young man from the Clamar tribe you meet in an army recruitment center. He's smart, has a strong sense of justice, and comes from a noble family. You know me so well already. But why is a noble enlisting in the army alongside commoners? Then there's Hulkenberg, a knight of the Roussan tribe and former member of the Kingsguard. Despite her youth, she's an expert at using various weapons, but her biggest failure still haunts her. I failed him again. And Heisme is a former knight of the Ujef tribe, whose appearance is vastly different from the other tribes and caused them to face discrimination. We're but another lesser tribe the city dwellers don't care for. That's just a selection of the seven party members you'll meet in Metaphor Re Fantasio, each with their own personal backgrounds and stories you can follow as you continue your journey. It'll be up to you which followers' stories you prioritize. And you just helped a parapus without expecting anything in return. <laughs> Doesn't that just take the cake? Each member of your party will be capable of awakening archetypes, beings they can transform into during squad combat. After awakening an archetype, characters unlock the ability to channel their powers and combine the abilities of unique job classes. Every archetype grants access to different skills and has different strengths and weaknesses. And equipping archetypes that allow you to strike enemies' weaknesses will give you a big advantage in combat. Please. There are a wide variety of archetypes, including mage, Paladin, Thief, and many more. Combining the powers of multiple characters' archetypes gives you access to synthesis attacks, which are incredibly powerful but cost multiple turns. So, you'll need to strategize to determine the best combination of characters and archetypes for a given fight, and when to use their most powerful attacks. Oh, holy light! Plus, the archetype your main character has equipped will determine their attack style when you use the fast system on the field. So, you'll need to find the right archetype that gives you both the fast and squad benefits you're looking for. Freeze! Every world traveling party needs a home base, right? Well, Metaphor Re Fantasio gives you one that travels with you. It's called the Gauntlet Runner, and it's a massive armored vehicle designed to carry you safely through the dangerous wilderness that connects the large areas you'll be visiting as you gather support. But it's more than just a means of transportation. It comes equipped with several facilities, including a war room, kitchen, lounge, and more. You can cook, read a book, take a nap, 
or hang out with your friends. Once the Gauntlet Runner carries you to a town, you'll have even more to do. You can hit up the shops to buy weapons or items, or you can go to the local recruitment center to pick up bounties for dangerous monsters. Killing them will reward you with particularly valuable loot, but be careful. Some of these monsters are so dangerous, you'll need to be mindful about which bounties you pick up and when. You don't want to bite off more than you can chew. Metaphor Re Fantasio is about more than just fighting monsters. It's about meeting new people and forming lasting relationships that give you the support you need. You'll befriend lots of people throughout your journey. Some will join your party, but others will find different ways to support you. You'll have the opportunity to choose how you spend your time, which includes chances to hang out with your friends and deepen your bonds with them. You'll get to know them better as people and learn about their backstories and goals. Some of these bonds will also unlock new archetypes and other abilities, so there is a gameplay benefit too. But just like in real life, your time is limited, so you'll need to decide on your priorities. You can go on quests, explore dungeons, and hunt for treasure during the day and focus on building bonds at night. But which bonds are most important to you? It might be difficult to max out every bond, so you'll need to choose wisely. Wait, it sounds crazy, but I think he might be onto something there. There's more to Metaphor's world than we can include in just one video. The game is out now, so you'll just have to discover the rest for yourself. Which has you the most excited to dive into this massive RPG? Let us know in the comments below. And for more coverage of Metaphor Re Fantasio, stick to IGN.com. <laughs>